Yo, what these bitches want for my nigga? I know the answer, niggas. I know the goddamn answer. What these bitches want for my nigga? Y'all know X is in my top five. Three to be exact. I meet bitches, the street bitches, street bitches, slash. Coco Puff, sweet bitches. Eat bitches. But not P, you niggas off the plate all you want. But not P, ha ha. Yo, X is GOAT. Welcome on that bullshit podcast. When you think can be in or will be bullshit in my book. Poe is in the building. Yep. YouTube, we're gonna try this shit one more time. <laughs> my mistake last week, I said we was on episode 90. That's a nigga jumping the gun. We only at 81. <laughs> oh, so trash. Yo, yo. Let me just turn it down. Just turn it down. Yeah, yo, 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 yo. Down. I still hear it. <laughs> I still hear it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Trent Set of Press, man. Like I said, yo, a lot of foolery that be going on up here, man. Uh, last week, I said it was on episode 90 and shit. I, I was jumping the gun like a motherfucker. I, I don't know what made me say that. But we are on episode 81. Today is episode 81. I hope that is 100% correct. I think so. <laughs> um, Man, I had Poe play this intro for a motherfucking reason, man. Not only is X my guy. And like I said, he is in my top three. That's that's hands down. Um, we might actually get into my top two. I be mentioning my top two today. Definitely, definitely gonna mention my top two. Um, in this uh, throughout this episode. But man, I just want to let y'all niggas know some shit, man. Let me run my mouth for a minute, and Paul, you just jump in whenever. But like I said, man, I kind of know what these bitches want from a nigga, man. And it's big facts, bro. It's three things. It's three things. And as simple as it is, I see why certain bitches be like, yo, niggas ain't shit. Because it's so simple, bro. It's so simple. Um, do I want to go ahead and say it? Nah, nah, nah. Anywho, man, I figured out the answer to this shit because of my past, man. I, I don't consider myself a hoe. I don't. I do consider myself a ladies, man. I just, you know... The homies can vouch for me too. Like it was times where I was with one female, bounced over to the other, ran to the homie crib. He like, bro, I thought you just left her. Nah, bro, it's another chick. I gotta go. But you know what I'm saying? You no, know, I go, I get over there when I get over there. You feel you me? You know what that sound like though, right? I know what it sound like, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I just enjoyed being around the females. And it wasn't to fuck, it wasn't, it was just like not all the time. Okay, not all the time. But actually just chilling with them was definitely cool. I was able to pick their brains. And that's why I know certain things. That's why I know certain things. And I know some of the homies out there be like, LP, how you do this and how you do that? And it's like, bro, one, I'm myself. But me being around those females, actually like knowing what it is that they bitch and complain about because they bitch and complained about it to me and whatever happened after that happened. But <laughs> at the end of the day, man, I'm going to tell y'all, man. Sound like some hope behavior. Just a little bit, but 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 I was just a ladies man, y'all. I just wanted to be around the ladies. I didn't even care to fuck, and I think that's what it was. Like one of the things that would be the fourth. But the three things that females want from a nigga, or I should say, bitches want from a nigga, is food, company, and dick. That's it. I bullshit you not. And right now, I'm only talking to the the single. Females, you know what I'm saying? Because the niggas that's in a relationship, obviously you was doing your job. You know what I'm saying? You were doing what she wanted. And with me telling y'all this, I want y'all to take y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Watch your step, watch your behavior, because bitches do fall in love with these niggas. Now, like I said, food, company, and dick. That's it. That's all they care about. That's all they want. That is it. Literally. They just want you to feed them. Chill with them and give them dick from time to time. That's it. Now, like I said, these females come out and say niggas ain't shit because you niggas out there is sorry. Like, obviously, you lacking one of the three things. And not saying it's dick, but shit, the bitch probably just hungry. Nine times out of ten, when these bitches are 
not themselves. Like, they hungry, bro. Just feed them. You ain't even got to be the best cook in the world. You know, take them out to eat. I know y'all like, man, P ain't buying no... That's why you lacking, my nigga. That's why you... That's why, like... Any single female out there that's listening to me, she like, this nigga know exactly what he talking about. And I can only thank my female friends out there that, you know, taught me the game. So I'm giving free game to the homies. Step y'all game up. If y'all want to know what it is, I just told you, at the end of the day, feed them, chill with them, give them dick. Nothing more, nothing less. Because they don't want nothing else. They just want food, company, and dick. Now, when you start diving off in the deep end and doing extra shit for them, then guess what? That's how you find yourself in trouble or in a situation that you're not ready for. I kind of feel like I was ready for mine. Now, I'm going to also say this, niggas. It ain't nothing wrong with mooching because I was a mooching ass nigga. I used to mooch like a motherfucker. But at the same time, what can you do? Like I tell my girl all the time, she'll tell me, she was like, yo, you was a moocher. And I was like, hmm. Not necessarily, but I can see where you're going with that. And I would tell her, I'd be like, yo, straight up. I would want to leave. You would tell me, no, don't go. Stay. Okay. Don't you got to work in the morning? Yeah, but you can stay the night. My roommates don't care. It's like, are you sure? Because, I mean, I can go. And that, that's how that plays out. It's a tug of war. And once you get to that stage... If you like where you at, you've been doing your job, food, company, and dick. Dude, That's it. I got to that stage in four days. Hey, but see, the thing is, while you giving all, giving them all that, you got to still stay sane. You got to do you. And I think that's one thing that I like about myself was the fact that every chick that I've talked to or encountered, they all knew about each other. I remember when one chick, she, she wanted to be with me. And I was like, man, I don't do the relationship thing. But, I mean, if you feel a certain way, then I'll let you know what I'm saying. You can go. Another chick popped up. But she, the girl that I was already with me, she was like, that's her, ain't it? I was like, yeah, that's her. Because I had a little crush on another chick. But me, I, I, was, the, I was the nicest asshole you'll ever meet. And I told him that. I just kept it funky bunky out here, man. I, I just kept it real. And I told him, like, yo, you're not the only person I'm talking to. You're not the only person that I chill with. I do have female friends. At the end of the day, it is what it is, not what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I played it. And I, I, I was very, like, you know, comfortable with what I was doing. Do I miss it? My girl can probably hear me through the vent, so I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Bo, am I right? Does, does, that, does that make sense? Food, company, dick. Um, for the smarter females, knowing that there's some type of stability. As in? No, like, as in, like, they know they can wake up the next morning and they can still reach you. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I had hella self-control because a lot of the chicks that I slept with, I didn't fuck. Like, I just, like, I had one chick tell me, like, I thought I was going to get this shit. I was, I was after this shit for, like, three months. Oh, God. I was after this shit for three months. She was like, um, boom, 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 meet me at the crib. I was like, all right, shoot me the address. Me partying, all that shit, shot there, boom. We ended up watching Pope Fiction. I was like, oh, shit, this is my movie. Now, certain movies, bro, I can watch. You know what I'm saying? So she got the head on the shoulder. She's like, aren't you tired? I'm like... Man, you done threw on, like, one of the best movies in the world. Like, I'm good. Especially after I done cooped up off damn Red Bull. I'm up and awake and the dick is hard. And she was like, well, let's go upstairs and you can finish it upstairs. It's like, all right, bet. Go upstairs, boom, boom, boom. Get in bed. And we both naked. I'm like, okay. Now, this is me. Having a mixed emotions of what I do next. Is this what she want? I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. But I'm at the, uh, 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 what I say, uh, the, the, the company stage. You know what I'm saying? She just want to be comfortable around me. You know, comfortable. Comfort. 
Man, I went in off the deep end. I was like feeling and touch. She was like, yeah, I'm not that type of girl. I was like, okay, cool. I already did. Left it at that. Went to sleep. Woke up. Dipped out. It was an L. But me, I'm cool with taking L's certain times. But it was cool. It was cool. And crazy thing is, I had to my girl, I was like, yo, I've never had a outing with like a chick. I, I can hit up any of them and just be like, yo, what's up? You cool? Now, I wouldn't like go on the deep end and be like, yo, boom, 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 boom. You remember this, remember that? Now, I wouldn't do that because I respect the minds. But at the same time, it was cool while it lasted, man. I don't know. This thought was just on my mind. I was like, yo, I, I know what these bitches want. And really, my mom didn't tell me this. My pops didn't tell me this. It's something I had to figure out. But I feel every, like, people trip over when people say, oh, I have a homegirl. And they think that you fucking them, boom, boom, boom. Now, my homegirl, I did once. But it was, it was on some our bodies attracted type shit. I was probably her worst. She was probably my worst. Put it that way. It was just, we both would sleep. But to this day, that's my homegirl. And I check up on her, like, yo, you good? She was like, yeah, I'm dealing with this motherfucker, and he ain't doing right. This motherfucker, she was like, what's so hard? All a nigga, all a bitch want is food, company, and dick. I said, there you go. I got it. That's it. That's it. Oh, man, let's get into the episode, man. Poe dipped out on me last week, man. Kill the fucking vibe, bro. I swear, like, five minutes after you left, I'm like, man, fuck me. Man, I pulled dipped out, man. I'm lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'm up here naming rappers on the goddamn double XL freshman cypher, getting them fucking confused. I'm like, bro, this shit horrible. I said, man, I'm out. This is a buzzkill. But he back, man. But, hey, man. Y'all understand, for the listeners, you know. But, uh, shit's starting to get deeper than. Uh, you know what I'm saying? N- niggas is getting super busy. Like, when I just told you that I got to find time to sleep, I was having a business meeting to 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, I'm not talking about just no regular, oh, we going to try to, we trying to do some bullshit. I'm talking about niggas are talking, we done booked out a venue, we about to do some crazy shit. Niggas are talking about making sure we can get our passport, do some shit in the UK. I'm talking about big shit. Niggas, niggas is like out here. So there's just like so much shit going on at one time that. Because we don't have a, a set time slot for this. <laughs> Shit start overlapping. <laughs> nah, I under dig, man. I just appreciate, like, your 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 commitment to it, man. Because it's like certain niggas would have dipped out, like, the first time they couldn't even, you know what I'm saying, do anything. You know, I feel like we communicate very well and everything's everything. Bro. Um, we just going to have to find ways around certain things and build up. Um, But it's all good. I ain't tripping on it. Uh. Last week we talked about Big Sean. Uh, you went on a little rant before you dipped, and I want to start out with Big Sean before we get into. We, we got a few things that I definitely want to talk about today, but uh, Big Big Sean, man, uh, I didn't like his his. I'm not liking his rollout, or I'm confused with his rollout. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but that first song, I think everybody thought that he was, you know, here. And that, for me, I was like, with that song, I don't feel that he's here. Uh, and this is where me and you differ, because the new song he put out, you was like, oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Me, personally, I like the first song better. The, the second song, I don't dislike it. I just don't like it as his leading single. Um, if, it is, if, if that's what it is. I agree with you. But the reason that I do like the song for his rollout is because we know... This is what I want from all the fe- all the rappers that we don't hear from. We haven't heard from Sean in a minute. So, yeah, I want to hear that you're depressed. I want to hear why you're depressed. So, this right here, that single, what, what's it called? Uh, single Again. Single Again. I, I like it. I like it. That that rollout is dope. Like, the, the song itself, I, I don't know who's singing it. It didn't have a feature. Okay. It, it may be a sample. I'm not for sure. I heard it like three times. I think it is a sample. Um... I enjoyed it, and then just listening to him, his wordplay, like I said last week, yo, his wordplay is phenomenal. He's never going to lack on that. But when you come out with a, I'm going to call it a freestyle, because it didn't have a hook, it wasn't a single, it wasn't a song. And that's probably what you liked about it, that it was just raw and just yeah, out there. Yeah, I'm the, the bars. Yeah, and, and I felt the bars was there, but I felt like 
is, is the beat selection. That's what I said. The beat selection. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about this song. But I man, feel like this song, if it had been more up tempo, because I feel like the subject matter and the timing that should have been a summer song. I feel like that beat don't really give me summer vibes. Um, maybe because he's not dropping in uh in the summer. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, but the singles the singles here in the summer. Yeah, but okay. So I'm looking at it like this: when you got a single, your your, your single should be like the rollout for your damn your your, your album. This, and I I'm don't, thinking that his album is coming when everything cool down. It's not gonna be that hot little he, summer he, bullshit. He always drops a uh, fall winter ish. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking October. Yeah. That, if anything, I, I think he's dropping October. And uh, coming for Drake head. I think he probably come. Uh, Do you see where I'm at now? I can see that. Yeah. But I, I know, um, I think a lot of times he usually comes around uh, the end of November-ish. Now, I, but see me, I'm all about, like, theories. Yeah, yeah I get it. Because, uh-huh. but see, my thing is. Why would he do it? Mm, no. I was about to say, because Kanye right there in that should've, bag. Should have been did it. No, 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 no. I no, said, no, 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 now, no. What I'm saying is, now, you done, you done ran in with Push. Now you well you ran into push, you ran into Kanye. Now you about to feel album mode, Sean. See, no, no, my only thing I say he should have been did it like what you saying. Yes, makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. I think he should have been did it because no, you said you didn't like the last album he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go back and listen to the content. Not don't worry about the song if you like the song. This is exactly what he's saying. He didn't do, uh, just just to refresh my memory, he went on the Seven Theory Project Kanye West shit, right? No, no, the no, seven no, production. No, no, okay, no. cool. No, when he did his last album, when you listen to the content, he's talking that talk like he's yo he's he's talking like yo I'm a top nigga, y'all sleeping. My only thing is he'll talk that and then disappear. I then, like, I will, he, he needs to talk it and then like just keep pushing that button on niggas like yo. I'm here, nigga. Like, you're not going to forget about me. Is he only talking to niggas in his city? Or is no. he talking to niggas in the game? Because that's like, what I'm getting at. Because every no, time I, I feel, I feel like, Detroit. When he no. dropped that album, it was Detroit versus everybody. Wasn't that his track? Detroit versus everybody. It was Big Sean. That was uh, on his last he, album. No, it wasn't on the album. Who, who, who's it album? It wasn't on the right? album. It was just out. It wasn't on the album. His, his last joke was called uh, I Decided. That wasn't that uh, Detroit versus everybody wasn't on that one. That was. Fuck had that song. That, I know M remixed it. No, M was on it. Hmm. M was on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, but they did a remix to it. Like, full up. Danny no, Brown was on the remix. Was not, like, that wasn't the remix. That was the original song. Long as shit. Trick trick talking on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Royce on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the, yeah. the hook. Uh, actually, I think it was M song, if I'm not mistaken, I remember Dej Lowe saying she went, like, M reached out to her, her yeah, yeah, yeah. and she did a verse, but her verse was cut, she just, they just had her on the hook. Man, that shit was way back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, like, I just feel like but I, Sean is just trying to compete with niggas and city. I don't think track, so. Even with the track that he dropped last uh, week, it, it seemed like he's taking, like, in his bars, he say like that wordplay shit, but it, it just seemed like he beefing with somebody in his city I and feel, not necessarily going after Kendrick, going I after feel, Cole. That's where I disagree. I feel like he's doing both, but the Detroit thing is what picks at him the most. That's home. Okay. So like he might have he might throw a slick shot to Kendrick, but then do the majority reverse at a nigga we don't know. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. So as a top tier nigga, is that what you do? Do you go? To I the... think as a top tier nigga, no. Okay, exactly. I mean, and, and that's where when you say you don't like the moves he making, I can understand that. Exactly. But like I said, if he took that energy and put that into, yo, I'm that nigga. Exactly. Nobody can say shit. Period. I'm I'm excited for Sean. It's just, I don't know what... Well, I, I, I want the I best for I Sean. I don't know what Sean we about to get. I, I don't either. And that's I, what I, I'm about I, to like, say. I like all of Sean. You know I'm a Sean fan. Yeah. But when Sean is in his bag bag, like like you said, wordplay never going to lack. Never going to lack. But it's the the aggressive part of it. that. Cause he, he like, is, he, is he a light-skinned nigga? 
Nah, let me ask he you. got light-skinned nigga tendencies. He got light-skinned nigga tendencies. I, I, I feel like... He be in his feelings a lot. A lot. A lot. I feel like... You know how Chris Brown is a light-skinned nigga, but he got dark-skinned nigga tendencies? I feel like him and Sean switched. <laughs> him and Sean switched. <laughs> uh, um... Let, let, let's move on from Sean. Uh, you hit me earlier today, and I, I don't know the dude's name. I did. I did. Glasses I, Malone. Glasses G Malone. Who again? Say it again. G Malone. Glasses Malone. Glasses that? Malone. That's what I know him as. Okay. Yeah. Um, He's fired. I I seen the song when it first dropped. Um, I didn't listen to the song. I didn't listen to the song neither. Which the song is called uh, Tupac. Uh, hold on, what's it called? Tupac gotta die or something, or Tupac should die. Either way, it's 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 him using his creative mind to be coming from the perspective of what's your man name? Not Keefe D. Um, what's the man that, that ended up getting his ass whooped in Vegas? Tupac must die. Tupac must die. That's the title uh, of Tupac uh, must die. Uh, and uh, Orlando Anderson. Orlando Anderson. So he's using. How do you his not name? know that, nigga? No, I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Like that's why I was like, it's not Keith D. Man. It's so it's so many niggas' names that pop up in that shit. Keith, uh, but Orlando, Orlando Anderson. It's Keith D. So Blas Malone is pretty much rapping a song in the perspective of Orlando, uh, Orlando Anderson. Anderson. I did not go listen to the song. But you ended up sending me uh, his Breakfast Club interview that I think happened yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, just just let the people know so I can speak my, my my two cents on it and where we was going with it. Okay, so basically he said that Snoop Dogg was bigger than Pop in this prom, and I don't agree with that. And Pretty much, and I'm not going to get into why I don't agree with it. We can do that, but that'll probably be for another day. I I, I mean, the guy, well, well I, I don't have my phone right now. You have the phone, so you have to do these things. Can you bring up that interview and just play it? Just that part. That clip? Yeah. Just so people can get a better understanding. And then we're going to go into how me and you flipped the script, which was through text message or through message on Instagram and shit, where... I was just pretty much, here we go. You said Snoop Dogg is responsible for the way the public views Tupac, and Tupac wasn't ever close to Snoop's status. Why would you say such a lie like that, G? Huh. G. Is, okay, so we don't lie. 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 So, so we don't lie, lie in this room. No, no, we ain't gonna lie this time. So, so let's be honest. Okay. Who was the nigga in the rap game? Let's not, let's not ever do, let's, let's stop. Let's when just stop though? bullshit. Period. All the way from 1993 when the album came out to 1995, no. it was no bigger rapper than Snoop Dogg. It was Pop. It was Snoop. No, no. Snoop came out first. Oh, I no, agree no, with no, him to an extent. Pop came out first. Well, yeah, but that... No, 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 now, who is the more popping artist? You gotta understand this guy's from the West Coast. He is from California. I don't know if he's actually Compton. from the, Oh, he's from Compton, okay. Anywho, Snoop Dogg out of the West Coast is homegrown. Point blank period. He's homegrown. Pac was a nigga from the East Coast that traveled around several places, went over to the West Coast, ended up getting locked up. When he got locked up, Suge Knight and Death Row. Now, before Tupac, you had Dr. Dre, you had Suge Knight, and you had Snoop. Mm -hmm. That's it. That was Death Row. You had a few more people. You had a few more well, people. Let me, let me just... You had, you had the DOC that was there. You had Mich Michelet that was there. You had several people that was there. But we're not going to sit here and make... No. Wait, let me slow down. So, that was my thought when I reached out to you. I said... Before, One, before I, you get into what you about okay. to say, let me just stop it real quick. One time, do. because you're saying to an extent, but I, I can understand. I completely understand why he feel the way he feel, and it's because think about it. Tupac was really getting into his prime when he got locked up, so he was like becoming that nigga and was halted. But also, Snoop was, was that nigga. 
Alright, and that goes... And, 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 okay, and, and Suge went to... Uh, actually, before Suge even went to Pac, he said, if we added Pac to this roster, shit gonna go through the roof. Because exactly. it's already there with the Chronic and Snoop. Now, before we go... Like, just stop it right there. He said that Snoop was the rapper in the game. He, he, he said he is the game. He is rap. And I had to disagree. Uh, I said on that statement, I have to disagree. Because Dr. Dre is hip hop. Dr. Dre is rap. Dr. Dre is West Coast. Point blank, period. Because let's not forget, you had an NWA. And not saying that he was doing the writing and everything because we do know Cube did that. But at the same time, if there was no Chronic, if there was no Dr. Dre, there was no Snoop Dogg. And uh, let me say this. I feel I, I I feel where you're coming from. I feel like it's two sides of the same coin with both of them. And I say that because Dre and Snoop did something very similar. Starting from NWA, where Dre came from, mm -hmm. and then being able to go into doing the solo thing and aftermath and bringing all the artists in to getting, niggas don't even know, he found Eve, yep. then Eminem, yep. and... The game and, and Kendrick and, and Anderson Pack and, and you know what I'm saying. So and this goes on. He keeps he, he, he keeps doing that, but he's doing it through other people. Snoop, when he came out, he did the same thing, but he keep reinventing himself. Now, now, when Snoop came out, Snoop was known as a freestyler, point blank period. He was a freestyler, and I'm not knocking. There's no, no, no there's no, no, no tally marks against him, against him. But what I'm saying is, for him to say that Snoop was hip hop. We got to understand, the Chronic introduced hip-hop to Snoop. Snoop was on the album, but not only that, the DOC was writing for uh, Dr. Dre, and he wrote for Snoop. But Snoop also had shit before that, though. But I mean, what, what was it? Because no, 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 Mr. Said, he, has, he has stuff. That got to Dre, that to make him want him. Well, you know what happened, all right? Like you had, you had, I you, had, yeah, you, had Dubs, you had you had C and, no. and then, I know what well, well, how, you I'm had, talking you about. Had how Warren got G, this. you had yep. Warren G. That's what I'm who, saying. I'm who, sorry, I said yeah, Dubsy. Warren G. I got you. I yeah. got you. I'm with all right, you. yeah. You had Warren G, who was Doctor Dre's cousin. No, step brother. Step brother. Step brother. Either either way, he introduced him to Snoop. No, he introduced him Snoop to Snoop music. Either way, either way. So I'm saying he already had music to wear dress. I feel like, like we said, he did Kendrick Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop was his first one. Now, well, actually, I, Easy was his first one. But true, <laughs> and I'm not knocking none of that. But I'm just looking at the hype that came around Snoop off of off of uh, the chronic. Snoop got into some shit. Now, mind you, they was already bubbling. Mm -hmm. De um, Death Row was already bubbling before the, when the chronic dropped. Remember, Snoop was also bubbling before the chronic, the chronic dropped, just off of the the, shit the soundtracks, the soundtracks, like that and the Easy E shit. Exactly. Once again, that's on the chronic. The, so that's what I'm saying. The chronic was the 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 what what they the foundation to Snoop. Now, Snoop ended up following back up, but I don't think it was his music that hyped him up. It was the fact that he caught a fucking case. He caught a fucking case and shoot. So you want to say the same thing about Pop? No, no, no. I will say the same thing about Pop. But Pop didn't get out or sign with Death Row until after Doggy I mean, uh, yeah, Doggy Style. So that's what I'm saying. So that's why Snoop was already there. Yeah, and I but feel when like, you say rap, like, no, like you said, no, 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 rapping. Let me, so let me say, I will say, if Pop hadn't got, you know, gotten murdered, yeah, yeah he yeah. would have definitely surpassed Snoop. But I don't think, I don't think he ever passed Snoop. I think, if anything, they was on the same level. And that's that's where I'm at too. Okay. But my only argument of this is, you have to give all Snoop and and Tupac credit to Dr. Dre. And Death Row. I'm going to say, this is where you, I will give Tupac an edge. I will not say he give, give his credit to, to, to Drake. Half. When, when, Pac came out, when Pac came out with oh. Tupacalypse, 
Now, mind you, Tupacalypse is like, I'm, not, I'm a fan of Tupac. So I'm not one of those fans that oh just say all eyes on me because it was popping. Of course, it was Death Row. I'm, I'm talking about Apocalypse to me is my favorite album. I'm talking about when he was with Interscope, not not Interscope Death, Death Row. Exactly. Exactly. So he was already doing his thing even back with um who he's with. I was talking about Digital Underground. There we go. Come on, man. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm saying Underground. I'm thinking Underground. Yeah, what the fuck is yeah. it? <laughs> digital Underground. When he was with Digital Underground, he wasn't getting the push, but they were but working. They with worked him. with him, and that's where, what, Brenda got, Brenda got a baby got came a baby from. And keep your head up. It's, those were already, like, on the way to being classics. Exactly. It's just that without... Okay, if he, if, he, if he had... If, sound, without the funk, I'm going to give it to you like this. Without the funk sound of the West Coast... Pac probably wouldn't have made it as big as he was. I can give you that, but I also think with his original sound, he could have went far if he had Sugar in his corner from a jump. Mm, sugar in his corner from because a jump. Because Jimmy Iovine Jimmy does a lot, but he doesn't do what Sugar do. How he yeah, does it. Yeah, but I mean, well, success-wise and getting shit in the way that... They did, you know what I'm saying? Putting their hand on the button like niggas business, niggas yeah. time to go. Mm -hmm. Then maybe, but could they have put Pac on a back burner? Like, could Pac I look at this off your statement. If Pac would have started with Suge from the beginning, Pac would have been a a, a, a a daz and corrupt. You get how they get left in the background? They 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 they, they I can see that. I you can see you that. get what I'm saying? Because they, they, he would have pretty much been their uh I actually you know what. Depending on how they worked it, he would have been like J Rock from TDE. Because remember, yeah, J Rock was TDE's first album, exactly, and then came back around to be like what the fourth. Now, with that, I feel like everything happened for the whole Death Row, which I feel is probably the best. What would I, what would you call them niggas? Uh, the best label label ever. Ever, even though they crashed and they flopped and all that, they was they was ruling everything. Niggas don't even know Death Row is actually still. Like, it's still here. It's still here. Um, it's kicking. Yeah, it's kicking. It, it, it's kicking and pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Lupe with it. Um, so I want to say I want to ask you though. You yeah, said yeah. it's the best label of all time. Yeah. You put that over Cash Money. Yeah, hell yeah, Young Money. Uh, I put that over Cash Money. And Young Money, because Young Money just, like I said, like, if we looking at the numbers, they still not touching the Pac and the Snoop. Just those two just those two artists right there. I disagree. I mean, what you going to run with? You going to run with Drake, or are we talking oh, Wayne. old Drake? Well, Wayne, Wayne is going to be Wayne, but Wayne, if, if we put Wayne in there, we only can talk about his mixtapes. No, 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 we're talking numbers. Wayne broke hella shit. All of what? The Carter 2 didn't do Carter that. Carter 3. That's, that's the only album. That's the only album. Okay. Then you, you got, you got, you, you got. Say, you can say the same thing with Pink Print with Nicki Minaj. I was about to say, who the fuck had that in Death Row? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my thing is this. Pac had, um, fuck. Yes, he, no. Me the, against oh, the world. Um, but the only difference is the artists on Death Row did it multiple times. Well, but that's what I'm saying. They did it multiple times, so they can't touch but, them. But you, you can say Drake, though. I mean, you can, but are we mentioning OVO Drake? Because he's like, I, we don't know if he's still... He like, is, he's still young money. I mean, I, I just don't... I'm, I'm not rocking with it. My opinion, I'm rolling with Death Row. The oh, impact, I'm, not, I'm not... The impact, the <laughs> sales, the numbers, however you look at it, I'm rolling with Death Row. Oh, no, I'm I'm just playing devil's advocate. I, and I, I, <laughs> I love it. This, this just... This just also, a, I like the thing about this. And also, I'm going to throw something else out there for us to talk about it a little later. Um, Cash Money, the original Cash Money, Hot Boys. Hot Boys, yeah. Them Wayne, did a, Turk, they, they did a whole run taking over the South without ever outsourcing shit, including features. The first person they ever featured was E-40, and then E-40 featured them as they were their first time. Niggas don't even know that. But I'm throwing it, I'm just throwing it out there. Do you think Death Row did a whole run? Without doing shit with other people, I mean they kind of did, but not. I feel like they. Did. I mean, I felt like they did it with their label mates. That's how I feel. They did it with the label mates. I mean, what you gonna say, Bone Thugs and Harmony? And that's crazy how that worked out. How they were signed to Easy? Yeah, how they were signed to Easy. But see, they they were signed to Easy. But I think 
uh, Dre had already left by then. No, because 19... When did Dre leave uh, Death Row? Uh, Dre didn't leave until... Was, was, I wonder, was it after Easy died? It had to be 96. No, it had to be 96 or 97 because M dropped in what? 97, he right? He dropped... Uh, he dropped, was Infinite 96, the next one was 98, I think. I, I, I can't get my numbers right. I'm trying to think on albums like how which they album, which, which M album are you talking about? Uh, give me Marshall Mathers LP. That should be his first album. Oh, so we just going to skip over the motherfucking Infinite. Like that well, Infinite was an EP that, that, that Dre actually ended up listening to. I'm, I'm actually talking about working with Dre. When he actually signed that project, oh no, I was just throwing. I'm, I'm, I'm just being. I know, hey, bro, I'm, I'm just passionate about it. I love this shit. Uh, two thousand. What? Release date was two thousand. What was on that album? Marshmallow LP is a. Oh no! See, we were wrong. That's the third album. That's the third album. That's the third so, album. But no, we're thinking about the Slim Shady. Slim Shady LP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, hold on, I ain't tripping. I don't even remember our first fucking question. Though. That's 99. 99. Mm -hmm. So Dre had to leave around about... And they, 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 call, they say that's the second one, but that's I think they're including Infinite, though. Okay, if they are including Infinite, West round that off to about 97. Bone dropped East 99. I don't think it was in 99. But I feel like Dre took Bone Thugs after Easy died. I could be wrong. Yeah, because Easy did have that. They they had the track before Easy died. So yeah, it's somewhere around there. But I mean, I just feel Death Row, and I wish that we could have got the whole Death Row East, Death Row West, like Death. Yeah, that that whole shit. Now is talking. That's now, what now, I feel, now I'm like I'm kind of mad. That that's the shit Birdman trying to do now, and it's like, eh. it, and man, he's making money off of it. Um. Let's see. We mentioned uh, E40. I heard you mention E40. E40 dropped last week, and I want to talk about albums real quick. Slapper. Man. Hey, no, no, no bullshit, yo. E40 album, 20 Slap song. Fire. Slap it. Fire. And that nigga on that shit, talking that talk, that wibble wobble, dribble dribble, my shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, Bert, you saw what I posted, right? I did not. I, I did. I probably didn't. I yeah, but I'll post. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'll post. And E40 liked it himself. Oh word! Oh god! Oh, he was on Twitter. Yeah. I posted on Facebook too. Oh okay. Because I got into it with an old head from Philly saying E40 was trash and nah. nah. But anyway, I was like, yo, people, people really look at me crazy. And I say E40 is a goat. He is. He is. And I was like, he's a legend. I was like, realize he is the god. He's one of the godfathers of our culture when it yes. comes to slang. He's been in the game for 31 years and just dropped his 28th yes. album. That Nigga, shit blew my legendary mind. goat talk, bro. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And like the features he had up there it was dope. It was dope. It was, hey, yo, now I give credit when credit is due. I, 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 how how, how long have you heard me say, as even recently, <laughs> about, about E40 being a legend? Yeah, I nah, said, I've been, we had a conversation. Somebody was like, no, he a legend in the West. No, he is the nah, legend, he, yeah. period, bro. He is. He, like, he, he's definitely solidified a legend, man. But I, we, we we hit the road, and I was like, no, man, I'm gonna listen to this E40, and that shit was knocking. And I want to say, and I want to say, for niggas who try to say, to try to slight E40, for somebody to be in the game for as long as my oldest sister is, he has. A slapper every decade, even if it's just one. Every one, decade. Every decade. Every decade. From when he did, when he was on the feature with the uh, with Lil John with the Snap the Famous shit, to when he did the function shit, to the uh, talk that shit. shit. Told my go, but you know, shit, forty my, bro. bro, forty my god, bro, like, <laughs> like no, nah, forty, forty shit. When like yo, when I tell y'all motherfuckers to actually like albums that I like, listen to them shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Go ahead, say something. Let's get it. <laughs> ah, um, damn, you broke my concentration. I'm like, Bama, you done grew got them too late. You want to do shit? Um, what was I saying? Uh, E40 album was definitely dope, man. Um, I want to rap about albums real quick. And I want to say this, yo. That nigga Chance the Rapper <laughs> has, one, made me sometimes right. 
And I say that on this podcast very often. I'm always sometimes right. But this motherfucking time, I was fucking right. I bet you he get nominated for a Grammy. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna. He's not gonna win. That nigga ain't gonna win shit at this Grammy. One, this album is twenty two songs, and I gave it two, three listens. My rules of listening to an album is listen to it three times. Didn't make my judgment. The first time I heard it, I'm like, okay. The first track, I'm like, all right, I, I rock with it. Okay, you know. Second track, I'm like, all right, not really like chancy that I want. Third track, I'm like, okay. So was the chance you was looking for like the? Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna like, tell what's you what's the the feature you did on um on Cordae's album. That was the chance you were looking for. That is the fucking chance I was looking for, and I wanted to get into that. I'm a, I'm gonna get into because that we gonna get into that. But yes, 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 I'll go ahead and say it that I felt that Cordae had the best okay. album. Corday, YBN Corday had the best album out of everybody that dropped last week. It was short, it was sweet, it was everything that I look forward to. The production, A plus. The bars, the rhyming, the storytelling, A plus. The feel of the album, A plus. I like albums, or I, I feel an album can be great when you can listen to it any time of the day. You can be cleaning, it doesn't fuck you up. You can be driving. It doesn't fuck you up. You can be sweet. It doesn't fuck you up. You can be drunk four o'clock in the morning going home and don't have to worry about the cops pulling you over telling you turn that nigga shit down. This album is classic. I this wonder, is a classic album by YBN. My, Lost uh, Boy is the best album. My only critique that I had about the whole album was from the, it's actually from the features, not him. I said I said what I said to you about the I about thought the, the features was great. Oh no, the features are good. But I said uh First off was the Meek shit that I said. The hook sounds just like another shit he did two albums ago. That was my, but not saying it's a bad song. It's someone I heard, I'm like, this shit sounds like some shit you did already. And then uh, the Pusha T shit, well, I thought it was a dope verse. I actually want to hear an actual song about them going into detail of that verse. The yeah. whole thing, thing about he grows his hair because the dude, his man's died. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I want to hear a song about that. Like song. that, the Anderson Pack shit, that single is Oh, that shit hit. That's fire. Shit. Shit Shout hit out to different. J. Cole. Big facts. <laughs> Big facts. That shit hit different in the Jeep. It is different in the Jeep, bro. That song right there is just fire. But let me talk my shit because I said I'm going to do something with this. I've been listening to YBN all week. I've been like nothing. Like if I'm not listening to his album, I'm listening to an interview. And he's thought about this several times. I'm going to look into the camera because I want him to... He, he's going to get this. YBN, you going to get this. And I, I, I don't got no beef. I don't got no smoke. I'm a North Carolina nigga. Right here from Raleigh. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I just want to converse with you about your top five. You are 21 and boy, you, you know music. I don't know if y'all listen to his interviews. Uh, the one with that guy. The, yo. The, the one with Nick Cannon when you the top five? Yes. Yes. Now, it ain't no beef. I just want to have him right here. And I'm going to make it work. I promise you. Why be here? I'm telling you. Corday, just, just reach out to me. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Why? Just why? Is Big L edge over Eminem? That's all I want. And we can talk the rest of the bullshit, by the way. I mean, he, he slightly he, said why. I mean, he did. But that's why I'm reaching out to him. Because I want to converse with him. I feel you. I want to converse with Buddy. I have something I, I wanted to say to you. Ain't got shit to do about what we talked about at all. But I want to do this while he here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I, I brought it to the show? <laughs> what up, y'all? Simple Bradley. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they got his name tag on. <laughs> <laughs> you have been saying for a while about he, he got some shit coming. You say you got some niggas that like really be spitting. This, that, and the third. I want to... Uh, you want to put us to the test? I want to do your top three out of your squad versus three out of my squad. Uh, like, they do a track, one verse a piece. We do a track, one verse a piece. Bars. I'm with it. Hey, I'm here. Hey, I, I give you, hey. you three verses. Hey, <laughs> that shit be hard as fuck. Look. Okay. okay, we'll set it up. We'll set it up. We'll talk about this off wax. That, that kind of push my buttons. Like, <laughs> like I said, yo, I am passionate about certain shit. 
And when I got faith in niggas, my niggas ain't losing. Yeah, they, look, look, look. Yeah, they're not I'm, fucking with me. I, I'm also, with, I'm like, I'm, oh, but, look, but it's first, first, first of all, I'm, it is. But I'm saying, first of all, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I should gonna heat. Out of out of the three niggas, I'm one of them. Oh, time out. Wait, wait. So I can play around too? Nah, nah. No, no, nah. I don't. I don't no, play. No, no, no. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I don't play. Yo, if we doing shit like that, hey, we first, have fun. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm gonna have fun, but like, I'm yo, just gonna... I be bullshitting around here. If if we about to do some competitive shit, I will go into a whole different zone. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I'm not playing. Like, like. Yo, I'm being serious. All right, baby. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it on what? I ain't even told hey, my squad. I ain't even told my squad about this. This is something I, I just put right here. Set it up. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in words. So, um, what the hell are we talking about? Yo, Slim Hardaway, you got. I'm seeing you tonight. We're gonna talk about this. Um, what the hell are we talking about? I don't lose that drop. Why be in Corday? Oh, back to Chance, man. Because I, like I said, yo, Chance album is the worst album of the year. I said it was gonna be. Highly anticipated, and it wasn't. I felt it wasn't gonna be good. One, this album's too long. I'm happy that the nigga didn't show the features on on his title on his title li title list. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he didn't show the features because the the album would have been worse if you see the niggas that's up there. Why do you have Nicki up there twice? Nicki is not in her bag. She hasn't been in her bag in five years. Let her stick to Queen Radio. Stick to that. You know, like, stick to canceling fucking shows. Stick to trying to get married. Yo, let it go. Nikki is not your answer. I'm done with Nikki. I don't want to hear her on a Chance album. Why? Why? Chance needs classic albums. This is an album that is so-called, like, like they said, his first studio album. And this is what you give me. I understand it's about a man's wedding day. I'm like Gus. My nigga said, dog, if this is about his wedding day, then this nigga needs a divorce. This album is trash. Yeah. This shit is garbage. That's funny. When you hear certain songs, you're sitting back. I, I played one song for V. I said, he was like, bro, I heard it, I heard it. I said, bro, are you sure you want to hear it? He said, yeah. I said, bro. All right, here we go. I said, first song, good. Second song, I'm like, uh -huh. third song, I'm going to be like, okay. Fourth song is when I had enough. And that shit's called Hot Shower. And I think everybody likes that shit. That, that's just my opinion. I don't, I've never liked that. I, said, I, have, I haven't listened to the, to the album yet, but I did see people quoting something about Hot Shower on Twitter earlier today. And probably saying that it was good, but it wasn't good. No, it, was just, it, was just, it was just quotes from the song. That shit is garbage. It's not Chance. When you hear it, like I, like I said, I have somebody that like rocks with Chance. And when I play that, and his mouth go, what is this? I'm like, bro, it's your boy Chance, bro. He like, nah, not Chano. You know what I'm saying? He ain't been a little Chano from, from Ingleside in a minute, bro. Bro, like, it's <laughs> bad. This is not a good album. And when I say it's not a good album, I'm not saying like, Every song up there sucks because it's not true. But when you have 22 songs and only three of them are good, it's a bad album. You fail, my nigga. I feel like we've said this. We said this with the Drake's album. We said it with Wiz Khalifa's album. We said it with the Ray Shrimmer album. We've said this with a lot of different albums. When you have three or four solid good songs, but you give us 22, 23, 24 longer, now that makes your album bad. If you had to do like seven songs... Seven to ten songs, that's a good little medium right there. And you got a good four song. You're like, okay, well, that's about them. Like, that's, the, that's most of the album. And the funny thing is, I wouldn't even be mad at that song, Hot Shower, if it was a 13-song album. I wouldn't be mad at it. But it sucked so bad, and I had to hear it, hear it in the fourth song after you give me a decent intro. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe I criticize people too much. And they like, he, you don't even do this. I understand. But I'm a fan of music. And your intro is okay? We're talking about a Chance the Rapper. Probably the biggest artist 
to say that I'm about to drop an album this year. It was highly anticipated, right? People wanted this. This shit is garbage. G A R B I T C H. Garbage. <laughs> oh, it, it's not good. Um, somebody else. Oh, B J, the Chicago kid, dropped an album. Oh, you did tell me that. And I, that, I, I got to listen to it. That because B J is one of the most talented niggas. He is. He is. And I, I enjoyed that album. Like I said, I've been listening to Corday, but. It, it's times where, like in the morning, when I'm going to work, yeah, that first, that first wake up, that, yeah, yeah, that mellow listen, that album from top to bottom. Uh, I want to say he got my boy Buddy up there. Uh, he got Jid up there. I think those two are on the same track. Um, he got Anderson Pack up there. Uh, he, he got a few people. That album smooth, and he went back and he like, like, like. Posting my story on his story type shit. So I was like, oh, flex the muscle and shit. I felt dope. Um, before we get out of here, man, I also want to talk about 50 Cent and Rick Ross. Or I should say Rick Ross and 50 Cent. Can you do me a favor? And can you find a clip of the big boy interview? If you got academics, fuck that nigga. I ain't done it. If you got academics on Instagram, just go to his joint. And it's like the first one is the Rick Ross, and then the third one is the 50 Cent. Can you play Rick Ross first? Um, and pretty much, I just, I don't think there's a beef there. But I know at one point there was a beef. And pretty much Big Boy brought it up in the interview. And I did not watch the full interview. Or you feel like, like man, we, we not there. Or mm -hmm. I didn't instigate. I'm, I'm good. Honestly, I'm a businessman. If 50 Cent still had value, I may have been done but not being funny, not on, right. homie just ain't, you know, he ain't that dude no more. Man, we was riding through L.A. smoking the Hater to Love It yesterday. Yes, sir. Hater to Love It. You, yeah, the other was on time. Yo, yeah. we was saluting Cool and Dre. That's, that's Miami who did the production. Game, 50 Cent, that was dope. If he was still making music like that, of course. When one of my dogs could hit me, Dre could hit me and say, Rose, I got 50 on the record. And if he was still Run dope 50. like he was eight years ago, well, we about to play the 50. Dude. I got to ask you this because it's new. Uh, Rick Ross in an interview was asked if he would ever do music with you, if you could put his beef aside. And he said he would if you had any more value, but you, you're not that guy anymore. That's what he said. Okay. Do you care? Does that make you feel any type of way? No. I, I don't know what the, his value is to music culture at this moment. Would you make music with him ever? I never made music with him, but I have interest in making music. You watch guys. He's a lot of guys. They, even when you when you make reference to music culture and stuff like that, they want trade pony. So they're gonna go and be gone. I said you in hip hop. This is now I have to go. I have to dump the label. Mm -hmm. Right. I said watch. You can get next to the guys that got momentum and try and survive based on that. But it's not a lot going on. There. All right, you, you scratch that. I now, completely I said, with that nigga all the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 uh, no. I, I completely okay, disagree. Okay, okay, okay. I also don't like 50 Cent. Okay, but, and uh, see, I do, and I don't. I don't have anything against Rick Ross. It's just with Rick Ross, I can't sit back and listen to him over and over. His big, my favorite album from Rick Ross is Deep in the Rap, always going to be that album was produced by Kanye West. And it's not like me saying his last album Kanye was his last album phenomenal. Okay, top to bottom. Okay, okay. how many features did he have on that album? Because I didn't listen. How many features? Uh, you have two many. I know he had uh, Dave Chappelle, Ty Dolla Sign, um, Meek. Mm -hmm. Was Wale up there? And I'm just throwing no. out names. Was Ray no. Shermer up there? No. Was Drake up there? No. Okay, I, and I don't know. No. Now, <laughs> now I am gonna say that. Rick Ross was right. Man was up there. Uh, yeah, so the future and Gotti together. Now, me personally, do I feel musically if Rick Ross is right? Yes, I agree with him because Fifty is not focused on the music. Now, is Fifty right? I do believe that. I don't think no, so. The, the reason why is because his rollout for this so-called album that's coming out has all been Drake on that shit. And not, not 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 just saying not just saying like let me break it down. I know Rick Ross had one song for the rollout that had Drake on it. Then Drake had two songs with Rick Ross. 
Now, at the end of the day, all I'm saying is, as of right now, I'm tired of Drake and Rick Ross. One, but but Ross, two, Ross' first single was Ross and Wale. But that's what I'm saying. I get what Fifty's saying by saying that yo, it's not rap isn't about what have you done lately. That's big facts. Especially when you, especially when you got niggas out there that's making fifty money. Ross got money and he got a wing stop, but he ain't making fifty money. So once again, it's about what I've done. We talking about music. We're okay, about, so let's talk about music. None of his albums has touched Get Rich or Die Trying. None of them. Crazy as hell. What album has sold? Going to Miami. It sold that much? That's like, can, can we fact check? Let me know. And I, I didn't take a deep dive, and I'm always sometimes right. But if we talk in music, that's what that statement is. It doesn't matter about what I'm doing now. I sold amount of copies. Okay, okay. The debut okay, album. all right. You just said it's not. It's about. What, it's not about what you've done. But what you've done with me lately? That's no, what no, no. I what Fifty said it in hip hop is not about what you've done for me. No. It's no, not, no. He it's, said, what he just said it's, was, it's, it's not about what you've done, it's about what you've done for me lately. lately. What he has said it's said? not about that. That's no, what no, that, no, that's not what he just no. said. You want to play it back? Right, that's not what he just said. No, that, don't even, that don't even make sense. He said in rap, it's not about what you've done for me lately, it's what you've done. No, or some shit that like don't, that. no, opposite, flip it. Okay, well, flip that it. That don't make sense. <laughs> Either way, he's saying that, yo, I've done this. At the end of the day, I am what, not one what of these that, niggas that's trying to hop on niggas. When, it, come, when it comes to... Nigga, he said the same shit when he was beefing with goddamn French Montana. What are we saying? I didn't even know them niggas beef. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to be real with you. No, but that, I feel, like no, this. no, let me, no, let me say All this. Right, go ahead. Because I feel like 50, when he came out and was doing his thing, everything... I, and, and just remember the timestamp of when shit came out. Mm -hmm. He did... The majority of the shit by himself or with G Unit. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. But now, look at today's music. Most of today's music is about collabs. So you ain't gotta be, oh, not, oh I'm trying to be next to the hot nigga. Because then, if that's the case, you could say the same thing about E40. Well, I mean, you can, but. I mean that that's 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 not even in the conversation. It doesn't go hand in hand. It, Why it don't it? Because E Forty has done that his whole career, features his whole career, and Ross has it. But that's what I feel Fifty saying. Like one, fit, Rick Ross can't. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. My ears get hot as shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now I'm gonna give it to you like this. I'm a wrestling fan. Now. I know you ain't big on wrestling, but I want you to watch this real quick. Watch how I do this. You know how, I'm going to say, 50 Cent is Stone Cold Steve Austin. It doesn't matter if he gets his ass whooped or if he loses title or what. We just know when we see 50, shit's about to get fucked up. Shit's about to go down. And I'll give you Rick Ross, who is the rock. He's the people's champion. He does what the people want him to do. People want him to collab with Future. People want him to collab with Drake. People want him to collab. But at the end of the day, which is more appealing? It's like, yo, I don't give a fuck about this dude I mean, that's I, just a I, yes I mean, I'm, Actually, for me, when I was into wrestling, I was more of a rock fan. Okay, now <laughs> see, but that's cool. But you're still making my point. When you seen Stone Cold, what did you get that vibe? Oh, this nigga about to drink some beer. And fuck some shit up. Oh. It didn't matter if he won or lost. 50 is a bully in the game. At the end of the day, 50, really? Even with Stone Cold, it's like, if a nigga lost, that nigga still won. He a bad motherfucker. 50 is a bad motherfucker. This nigga got power about to roll out. You think he give two shits what Rick Ross is saying? Do you give, 50 don't give a fuck about Rick Ross. And, and the funny thing is, as I was thinking of this, I was sitting back and I'm like, well, I, 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 like, I'm, can I just, I want to throw one more thing out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you rather, I'm just thinking, me, me as an artist, I would rather be the guy that have a lot of collabs, that fuck with everybody in the game, and be known for that, than be the guy that that is known for just dissing everybody in the game. Why do you like Hobson? Because he's, he's fired. They got nothing to do with him dissing. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, that's, that was his rollout, though. No, the, the, dis no, no the dissing is what got my attention. Okay. Him being able to rap well with Kepit. Okay. 
50 Cent dissing got my attention. But his first album, I was good. After that, I don't like that nigga. Okay, and, <laughs> and my thing is this. Why? Okay, I think 50 looks at it like this. I don't really care about all these niggas that's collabing. Because guess what? Whenever I want to jump in my bag, it's only a phone call away to call up a Dr. Dre. Call up an M. You know what? Yeah, since, since, since the last single he had was a collab. The last couple singles he did was collabing. But once again, so you can't really but say he's still rocking with his niggas. He just remixed. He was with Chris Brown. Chris Brown and his nigga. What do you mean? How many tracks some niggas got together? They got several. Okay, I'm Trey saying. Songs just remixed uh, Big Rich Town. Like, 50 works with the same niggas he's been working with. That's all I'm saying. I, I and Okay, and then so... I, I I just I I don't I don't understand because like you said because Ross he's been doing shit with Drake forever since Drake came out. But you, you don't feel that it's a lot of niggas, not just Rick Ross. There's a lot of niggas in the game that definitely rap with niggas to stay relevant. Yeah, but I'm gonna put Ross in that category. If Ross has a fucking feature with the baby on on, on his album, you wouldn't feel that way. No, not even Nigga, YG did. No, I. <laughs> I'm speaking on Rick Ross. I'm speaking no. on Rick Ross. That's two different eras of music. But no, what I, what, YG what, and the baby in the same type of era. What I what I feel that way? No. Okay. Now and I say no. Now, now follow and I, up. And I, and I, no, now, I say no just because Ross a lot of times go with down south rappers. Cause I do know for a fact that he got Denzel Curry on his album. But that that that's home break. That's uh, home it break. is. Yeah. Okay, but you got a boogie on his album. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm not knocking it, but I'm I'm going off what both of them said. I'm going off what both of them said. And but I'm no, saying, but I mean I can understand like but like I said, Ross also said he would do the song if he had value. So also, yeah, he's gonna do it with the niggas that he fuck with, but it's also gonna be niggas of value. I get that. Once again, I that's get what that. he's saying. He's I, like, like, I get that. He, he said but I, don't I don't know his value. Like, because I don't really know his me. Like me, I don't like I said, if I'm listening to Rick Ross, it's me just catching up on what the fuck this nigga got. Like the new song. I I, I didn't listen to it because I got time. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say this. Rather you than me. Go listen to, listen to that album. Rather you than me, Rick Ross. Listen to that album. Rather you than me. Alright. I I I'll give it a chance. I don't uh Also I wanna speak on something else with Ross though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know he does like the the Maybach Music series, the song called Maybach Music. And he has a Maybach Music, I think it's six, that's not out, but he put Pusha and Wayne on it. Together. Yeah, I, I seen that and what you think about that? I don't like the the I I I don't like it. I don't like it, and only because the way he did it, or yeah, the way he did it, it's it's not homie like. It's I not homie like. But my only thing is because I mean, because it could end up being because um, what was Young Dro did it with Ti and Gucci. Now I'm gonna tell you this: I don't think that song is gonna be as, with the names on it. It'll be a success, but the song itself. I don't think it's going to be a success. Only reason why is because you told one motherfucker that you wanted to rap about something. And then you told him. No, he to said, he, the way he broke it down, he said that he sent the song to Wayne and then he sent the beat to Pusher. So now, my, but, but, but Pusher wasn't on it when he sent it to Wayne. Pusher hadn't got it yet. Okay. He so he neither one of them knew right. that they was up there. Yeah. So that means as a creator, you are going off. Your 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 shit like, but I mean that's just like it's not gonna make sense. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this song is just gonna sound like a freestyle. I it's mean, not gonna I, be I, like I feel, uh, I feel like a lot, back music too with Kanye Wayne and. But I feel like a lot of songs. Like you really listen to a lot of songs with collabs. Niggas verses don't be having shit to do with each other. You know Over why? the hook. because and that's why I like Cordae's album because everything cohesive exactly. Yeah. And that's just one thing that I would love he's, he's about And he's definitely going to have within top three of this year. Who's that? Cordae. Yes. Um, and I'm still throwing Ross in there. I'm not throwing Ross I, in there. I, I, I told you I, I think. I, I, I got a question because uh, I, I want to keep saying 2 Chains. And there's been several albums out. And I think 2 Chains is going to fall to the Nipsey effect of dropping too, too, too early. And trying to make it last throughout the whole year. Because he's heavy in my rotation, but he's falling out. I'm going to say, only reason, I, I completely get that. 
Under 100%. Only thing is because I know he's about to drop some other shit. Like, just with some single shit. I think that's going... Is that dropping this year, though? Yes. Like, he's about to start, like, dropping some shit with, like, Future. Because it, it was, like... It was, like, a big thing. In, I seen that, yeah. It was a big thing in Atlanta where niggas thought... Chains Shout out my like, nigga Movie too, cause he doing a video tonight for well this weekend for uh, Future and Lil Baby. He's shooting that video. Yeah, niggas thought they had an issue in the city, but they never did shit together. So I know it's gonna be a big thing in Atlanta. You know, nine times out of ten when shit blows up in Atlanta with, with hip hop, it blows just, up everywhere. Exactly. Um, but damn, I forgot my train of thought. What were we talking about before before we brung up? Future um, and Ross. Two chains. Yeah, we're talking about Ross, but not Ross. It was something else I was about to say. Quarter album or album of the year? Um, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Just the fact that uh, I think, like, your mans might fall out, man, just just because he dropped too early. Now, it's still some more albums that are supposed to be coming, man. Um. Also, Drake has been dropping at midnight tonight. Who? Drake. Is dropping what? Midnight. Dropping what? A single or uh, It's supposed to be a little, a little compilation shit. A fucking playlist. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, yo. I'm going to listen to Soulja Boy tomorrow. I'm not listening to Drake. You listen to Soulja Boy, you probably listen to Drake lyrics anyway. <laughs> <laughs> big facts, big facts. Um, it was something else. Uh, I, I wanted to get this off my chest. I know y'all probably don't care about it. But, uh... Also, like I said, I've been heavy into interviews this week. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly was on uh, Every Everyday, Everyday Struggle. And um, pretty much, I, I didn't watch that shit. I just listened to the clip. Uh, I do still feel that uh, Machine Gun Kelly lost that battle. It's not biased. I just think we, that we, we, he got barred to death. We disagreed on that too. Yeah, but I think... What saved Machine Gun Kelly was his beat selection. His beat selection, but if you take the beat out and just literally listen to that fucking song, not saying you can do that, but if you just listen to the words, it's really like trash. It's like people were overhyping it. And then when you listen to it, which is again, bad beat selection, but at the same time, his first he, one was trash to me. He barred the, the, on the, on the kam Kamikaze album? That one was straight. No, I'm about to say that, no, no, that play was, was crazy. The response was trash to me. That motherfucker said, you keep pissing me off, but you already know who you are, Kelly. That shit was cold. Keep talking about my daughter. Hey, lady, keep, hey yo, that shit was hard. That wordplay was crazy. But uh, M in that battle just barred the dude to death. And oh, then he, that, that kill shot then, he then he sunned him. He sunned him. He sunned him. Trash. He sunned him. Bro, you know, you know how, bro, you know. But no, you know, I not, love Eminem, bro. I'm not I fucking saying that he washed Machine Gun Kelly. That shit was he trash. Trashed because we were expecting more. From Eminem. Because okay, I said this before. I was like, I feel like Kill Shot is the worst fucking diss song from a good rapper. And that maybe I, I agree with you. But at the same time, the bars in that song and him sunning him, which I got from it. That's what made me give the edge to him. Now, he came on an interview and said, put us on a track together and see what happens. It's going to make noise. It's going to make I noise. Would, to be completely honest, I would love to see that. I would love to, too. And, and not even, I'm not going to say I think one going to do better than the other. I will but say I will say, if we talking about, see, this, this is where shit gets different. Flow-wise, they could be similar. Yeah. Um, Syllables, the way you throw syllables around, M has that edge. Period. And keep going. But then Machine Gun Kelly is not going to be like, wash. He's going to be right there with, bro. He'll, he'll, he'll he just, go neck and neck. He just, he just can't do the, the syllable flip. That I'm can going do. to tell you this. If we get that track, Machine Gun Kelly better pray oh, he, that he goes last. He does not want to go first because his verse will be forgotten. His Did you hear what M just did on a... I don't know to do. It's, Emin, it's Eminem's artist. He did a uh, uh, same... He did a song with his artist. I can't remember his name. Uh, actually, you know what? I, and depending on how good his verse is, it don't matter the placement. Exactly. And, you know, and the reason I say that is because you can't look, come look, 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 at Jay, like, look at Jay you can't come out and say, make a statement by saying, put us on a track together and see what happens and leave it like that. 
You can't do that and come first with a good verse and then have M follow up behind you because M is clearly in the kitchen washing dishes. And if you come with any whack shit or pussy ass line or off the wall, which I know, oh, I, I, no, I just think can hold his my, own. Because my only thing is, regardless, because M is M, he is gonna make noise that he, nigga, as much as I love M and M is in my top two. Like, I love him. Machine Gun Kelly's not even in my top ten. So, so with that, so with that being Kelly said, has. so with that being said, no, it ain't no bias shit with me with, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. my opinion. Oh, so it's someone mine, that's what you say? Yep. Hey, just a little bit. <laughs> but I'm just speaking facts, bro. You but, but I, but I, I want to say niggas hype him regardless. So with that being said, if he has a great verse in the first verse and M comes, he still don't get forgot because that's what happened with Big Sean and Kendrick. If he comes after and has a great verse, that's what happened with Kendrick and Jay Electronica. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick is the hype was the hype one out of the three. Yeah, he probably and there did. it is. M comes out, he's gonna be the hype one out of the two. It's gonna be the same thing. Now, unless they go bar for bar back and forth, that's the only way I see Machine Gun Kelly really getting shit off and people paying attention and not forgetting him. Like the back and forth shit. I, I, I agree with you. I do. But I just feel like I want it, but I don't want to see it. Just because I like Machine Gun Kelly. I, I would I would really I would love to see Machine Gun Kelly do like him and M do a guilty conscience. Like uh, if they did uh, a guilty uh, conscience. I was, I, was like, thinking about, I was thinking bad means evil, but Okay. Yeah. That that's true too. Like, <laughs> I, I, I want to see it, but I don't want to see it with that open statement that Machine Gun Kelly put out there. Put us on a track together and then see what happens. I don't know, man, because I'm, mm, that, I, I feel like I, I got the same energy towards a, uh, Acorn right now. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, set it up, man. We with the shits, man. I, 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 yo, I'm telling you, bro, like, that would be crazy. That's dope. We'll, we'll set it up. Anything else, man? I think the nice episode was pretty dope, man. Um, I think I touched on everything that I wanted to touch on. Uh, just a quick rundown, man. Y'all got to watch that uh, In the Dark on Netflix. Coldest shit out right now. I know everybody's talking about uh, the heist. I got like three, four more episodes. I'm going to watch I watch these order them jokes. But, yo, In As the it. Dark. In the Dark is about a blind chick that... That's why I watch that shit. That's why I watch that shit. I said, I, that's the only thing. No, I ain't. Oh, man, I watch but it, it, it's about a blind chick that assumes that her friend is dead. Turns out the friend is dead, and then is just trying to figure out who done it. And me, how I watch certain shit. I love mysteries, and nine times out of ten, I'm quick to boom that nigga. Did. I want to uh, also just because I love most of the shit that I watch is music related. So the uh, the movie The Dirt. With Machine Gun Kelly in it, it's actually a pretty good movie. Okay, all right. But you know, I'll definitely like check rock it out. Band shit, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, In the Dark on Netflix. Go watch it. Then holler back at your boy, man. Uh, this is a wrap up, man. This is good. Yeah. Uh, Poe, let him know. Uh, follow me at Poe underscore Vision. Poe spelled P O E for niggas who keep thinking it's spelled P O. Um, just niggas. Stay tuned, nigga. Y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna tune in. Y'all gonna see what the fuck coming. Hey, hey, uh, YouTube, subscribe. It's your boy Trent said a press. That's T R E N D S E T T A H underscore press like a button. Man, we out this joint, man. That's everything. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Share, 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 share. That's what it is. We out. You heard me? <laughs>